Ellicott City in Maryland. For a time, its main street turned into a raging river after torrential rains fell on Sunday. Cars were washed away and property damaged as authorities continue to look for a missing man who was reportedly helping rescue people. Floodwaters are now receding and a huge cleanup operation is underway. Some here are still recovering from similar floods almost two years ago. I don't think I'm without exaggeration saying that this is worse than July 30th of 2016. I can just tell you my heart is broken. Uh, thinking about what the people had gone through here and the people's lives who were devastated two years ago and where they rebuilt and now they're faced with the same daunting task again. On the coasts of Florida, Alabama and Mississippi, a state of emergency has been declared as the first named storm of the hurricane season approaches. Subtropical storm Alberto is expected to bring tidal surges, high winds and may even trigger tornadoes as it makes its way inland. In some areas, mandatory evacuation orders are in place. Be very, very, very careful out there. You know, we're going to get a lot of rain, so if the rain's going to come down hard in some places. So if you're, if you're needing to travel, just make sure you're very cautious about that. And, and I mean, for sure, don't drive into standing water. We're going to, we have the chance for uh, uh, flash flooding. And we've got a chance of tornadoes, so just follow local weather. The 2018 Atlantic hurricane season doesn't officially start until Friday. Although far from being classed a hurricane, forecasters say the effects of Alberto will be felt across the southeast of the U.S. for days to come. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera.